games um, still. Like, Op needs to restart a game, for example. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, go over the team members for this match. On Team Coach Optimus, we have Nanners, Ossifer. Ossifer is, you know, making a return to Matchmaking Monday. And the match is live, by the way. Sepco and Nanners and Opt. And then on Team Potato, we have Andalti, Calisetta, Jesperoni, and Riggers. This is going to be a very interesting match. And we're going to go ahead and let Gaz take over some of the shoutcasting duties for the time being. While I go ahead and finish up. <laughs> All right, so we're into round one. The pistol looks like T's are going to make a heavy push beat. They're getting off. Oh, Swiss Potato gets taken down right away. There's still two there. Can they get both of them? They throw the smoke, and down goes Kalasada and Ndotsky. Easy B take for the T side. Awesome for Sepko, both with a kill there. And it's all down to Riggers, and man, that was fast. I didn't even get the bomb down. Yeah, definitely a very quick match right there. <laughs> didn't get the bomb down like you stated before. Uh, I'm not sure what they decided to go with in terms of the uh, in terms of the defense right there, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll uh, see a little bit different uh, strategy coming from the CT side. Looks like they're going to go ahead and uh, stack B. It's probably a smart move over there, um, but looks like T side's actually going to go ahead and. Freeze for a quick second. Oh my god, they fragged him. They stacked frags down banana. And Op goes ahead and takes one to the face. Nanner's gonna go ahead and spam a little bit of that Uzi in their direction, but Sepko goes ahead and blasts through the cardboard to go ahead and take Callus out. Osper's talking in game, so that's great. Gotta go ahead and modify that so we don't hear any of their invoice chats. We'll go ahead and take care of it after this round. That's easy. Gonna see the last click. Nope, he doesn't. Gets taken out. Nanner's going to go ahead and pre-file some of those corners. Sepco is going to go ahead. Is Jesper only going to get him? Oh my goodness, the reaction time of Sepco is so crazy. He peeked him, looked away, and peeked him once more. That was a nutty shot. Looks like uh, T-Side's going to go ahead and get another plant. And it's up to Riggers to go ahead and win this one. Riggers is a C- in ESEA. Sepco is at 1%! Does it matter?! Oh my gosh! Right in the head. Whew, that shot from Sepco. That's dirty. It was. So the T's taking an early lead. It looks scary there for a moment. That that nade down, and even Ndoski gets that pistol kill, getting it into a four on three. So they, they did some damage to the T economy, so that's for sure. So let's see how this plays out. They're stacking three A, two B. They're a little late on the B for the CT side. They're just getting the construction now, but it looks like Ninja's Swift Potato is going to be kind of sitting there, and then Jesperoni is going to be sitting on A site, just on the boxes. T's are starting to form up on B, but it looks like there's no one actually on B. They rotated off to construction and to the cross. But now they both rotate back over, so there's still two on B, three A, and then Dotsky is going to get taken down by Sepco, but it's going to get traded. Riggers gets opt, and Swift Potato gets Ossifer. There's still two here on B. Are they going to choose to back away from this? What are they? Are they going to continue to try and push hard on this site? Now we'll have to see. Sepco just trying to see if he can get some information on how many people are left. Looks like. Riggers is starting to rotate over. He's already in CT spawn, looking to see if there's anyone there. They've got... Nanners is over by grill area, and then they've still got Coach over by B, but he's to get some. So it's just Nanners and Sepco. It's about even HP. Nanners has a little bit more than Swift, but is he going to see him here in the corner? He walks right by, and that is the bomb down. Yeah, 19 seconds. Yeah. Sepco is all the way over on A site, and now CT just need to run. Don't get yourself killed. He potentially could have a potential plant on this, but oh, are they gonna? Nope, he's already on A site. Not even gonna challenge it. Sepco did everything he could to try and get that together, but the bomb just fell too late. Right. Yeah, Sefko was doing a very, very wide lurk on A side, and I'm not sure if that was very productive for the T side. I mean, only if they got those kills. Unfortunately, Nanner's got a 
got picked off by Jess Brown. Jess Brown doing a smart play and you know, watching Banana from the rear after uh, getting all that intel. All right. Oh, Jess Brody quick switch way too early. Oh, he's not gonna be able to get the pick on the Sepco. He's also gonna get uh, take a little bit of damage. Let's see if Op gets. Uh, let's see if Op's gonna go ahead and uh, win this uh, duel over here. And Dotsky gets picked off by Op. Gonna go ahead and get uh, apartment control. Sepco's gonna go ahead and drop the smoke. Get a flash towards Arch. Let's see if Riggers is ready for this one. Gets a headshot on Op. Let's see if trades can inbound as right now. As T side pushes into. A side, Osfer gets mows down Colasada. I don't think he was ready for that one. Jesperoni gets the clean kill. Gets a double on the Sepco. Oh man, it's not looking good for the T side right now. They're still lingering back apps. Coach Optimus and Nanners going to apps and seeing if they can make some work still on A. Let's see if they're going to be able to go ahead and fake the B. And see if they can just be patient enough to see if they go B or not. But it looks like Swift Potato Ninja is um, holding B down right now. No reason for him to move as of right now since they don't know where the bomb is. Hopefully Riggers doesn't make any noise on accident. Gives away his position. Nanners is going to peek. Gets headshotted by Riggers. His power is over 9,000. Coach is exposed. Oh, the timing. And gets the double. CT is going to go ahead and take this up. 2-0. Two 2-2 nil. Two -two actually. Haha. <laughs> I think no means zero in soccer terms, but that's going to go ahead and even it up. Playing field. Any thoughts, guys? Oh, was I muted? There it we go. Sounds so like it. That, I'm surprised it didn't actually rotate off of that because I would have figured knowing you have two there, only having three people left, you would have had the two on one advantage going B. Just try and rotate out of that and see if you can make something happen with the B take. And hopefully, you know, maybe you lose one in the process but still get the site. But it's it's even all out there pushing up mid pretty hard. You got Alps here. He's not looking behind him. Jess Brony's going to just take that easy kill right there. Jess Brony's going to sit here to keep an eye on mid. And Parks actually is going to rotate back over towards back alley. Shoots through the smoke, but no one there. It's just his teammates. These are still really far back. They are kind of stalled out here at the moment. They're not sure what to do. Mom is still back, almost T spawn area. Coming up by mid area. Ossifer with the bomb. And he is just slowly making his way, trying to make sure he's not going to get surprised by anyone. And there goes Endoski. He's going to get Nanners for his troubles. Kalasada gets one. Ossifer tries to get one. Kalasada's going to take down the last three of the round. Takes down Oscar and Coach. Yeah, gets a, a nice little 3K right there for that round. Uh, definitely boosting a little bit of confidence since uh, CT is playing against a team on T side. Sepco was a featured uh, MVP two weeks ago, and Sepco just completely dominated the playing field. But this seems like a lot more even match as of right now. Looks like Coach Optimus and Nanners are having a little bit of a communication issue in terms of their weapons as of right now. Riggers and Jess Brony, it looks like they're about to go do a run boost, and there's no op to kill. But Ossifer just completely dominates it anyways. F Sepco almost gets taken out by the op itself. Jess Brony traded off that kill. Oh, what's, what's the op going to do? Oh, they're going to go ahead and smoke off. Apps on the balcony right now. Calisad is going in for the quick rotate. But the bomb, they don't know where the bomb is. I don't know why this rotate's occurring right now. Swift Potato is probably all by himself on B right now. But T side has no way to know this. Oh, almost gets the headshot in the, on the Kalasada. Oh, Kalasada returns it, takes a double kill. Two headshots inbound. Jess Brown is going to go ahead and get a nice flick on the Nanners as of right now. The CT defense is just so dominant. Kalasada is going to go ahead and get a 4K. They don't know how to get the guy in fit. They don't know how to really breach on. They're not breaching on the sites as a team. They're just going one by one and just getting picked off. There's nothing they, they can do like that, that they're going to be able to breach a site. They need to breach it as a team and rush out and overwhelm them on the A site. All right. The guy in pit is just going to sit there and take down each person H one by one. They got, they're going towards B and there's three on B. Like They're just walking into the trap and this is, could be bad. They walk out and they're trying to get the kill. And Dossie's going to get out. Then Nanners, but they're going to get Ossifer, and it's just a bloodbath. 
Oh. There's another one for Swift on the Sefco, and it's it's just there. He's flashed. You can't see him, but Kalasad is gonna clean it up for him. And I mean, just walked right, and they, they are just playing with them right now. Sefco's doing good. He's got eight kills in this game, which is tied for most. But his team is just they're not working well as a team right now. They're not pushing things. They pushed together on that one, but they just walked right into the grinder. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like they're about to leave bomb right there too. But they knew, they they absolutely knew that they were on an eco, which is why they stacked 3B. Oh my gosh, now with a beautiful shot, Jesperoni, with trades back, takes out Opt. Oh my gosh, what a kill. That was awesome. D-side kind of kind of looks like they're stalling right now. They got the quick rotate on an A. Oh man, I'm not sure if they know this though. There's a lot of movement, there's a lot of steps going on, but I'm not sure if Osfer can hear them. It looks like they're gonna go ahead and wait till the smoke clears. Osfer's gonna go ahead and smoke it. Looks like it looks like they're just playing very predictable CS right now. But CT is gonna go ahead and rotate another one back on the B. Oh, did Jasper see him? Oh, oh, he did. Osfer could not get that kill in. Jasper is gonna go ahead and just swing around the corner and get him with the app kill. Kalasada and Swift Potato Ninja just wait patiently right now on B. The three on four. And it looks like they're going to start making their way towards Banana. Here comes the smoke. They're going to go ahead and smoke off Kalasada. Kalasada's going to wait patiently in the corner. Gets a double kill! Didn't he see it coming? Oh, let's, see if Op let's see if Optimus can do something. It's a 1v3. Let's see what the coach has. Let's see what coach can do. <laughs> Alright, Tsukui. Oh. Oh, man. Oh man, Jess Brennan's gonna go ahead and end the round. 6 2 so far. Going... Goodness, Ninja's team is uh, just completely dominating Razor right now. I mean, ever since the first two rounds, it has been all CT. And I mean, this is about the point where it might be time to take that timeout as T side. You've lost six straight. You're, you're, you guys, they're not figuring out exactly how to breed, you know, get onto a site and get it taken care of. There's been miscommunications at T-Spawn. They're, they're really, the team seems to be a little bit disarray right now, so they may need to be thinking about timeout. But they're they're going to make presence today. Just is going to get Ossifer again. They keep peeking it, and then Rigorous is going to get a guy at Sepco in apartments. They are just, again, it's the one by one. They peek one at a time. They're not, there's no one available to trade the, the kills off. And so now they're going to double peek here, but it's already too late. It's already gone. And then Opt is all by himself here facing three people. And so now you're down to a five on two. The CT side has taken almost no damage on this point. And they, they're, they're still keeping an eye on that, that boiler room area. There's one there. Nanners is going to get riggers, so they know that there's at least one in apartments. Can they do anything with this? Nanners took a lot of damage in that, so he's down already, down the 34 HP. And that nade is just going to end it there from Jesperoni. Jesperoni just killing it right now with 11 kills along with Kalasada, and then Andoski is going to finish off Optimus. <coughs> yeah, I'm not sure what T-Side can currently do as of right now. Uh, Team uh, Opti is currently not uh, pulling through at this moment. Yo, Tiger, what's going on? We're going to upload a new vid. Um, uh, I'll, I'll upload it uh, when I have an opportunity, buddy. Oh, looks like Jesperoni and Riggers are going to go ahead and do that run boost again. Oh, they messed it up. Oh, that didn't... Luckily, they, not, nothing occurred of that. Um, looks like... Uh, oh, you know what? AK, there's AKs all around. But uh, I'm not sure what CT's doing right now. They're shuffling back and forth. T-Side is currently just trying to get control of Banana at this moment. But as of right now, they're just kind of spread out trying to flicker fix, it looks like. They have really good positioning on A as of right now, CT side. They got one watching L. Watching short and the left side towards Arch. But they gotta get, get under control as of right now. Uh, oh, and Dotsky takes Sepko through the wall. Sepko could not pull away from there, unfortunately. It looks like CT's just playing some really good counter strike right now. Oscar's trying his best. Riggers is waiting patiently. Dotsy can't spam the smoke fast enough. Oh man, is Riggers gonna get this pick? Oh, does not get the headshot on the Nanners. Jesperoni takes out Officer. 
Once again, this push on A is just not... that They're just kind of forced into it as of right now. There's nothing they can really do. Other problem is they're just forcing every round. They're not really saving money up to be able to have the utility and everything they need. I mean, they're just forcing every round and purchasing what they can. And so we've lost one already. Um, who'd we lose? I'd like they need to call timeout. Osifer. They lost Osifer. They're pausing right now. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what T side can do right this moment. They need to they need to just switch it around because the C T side they're so in sync as of this moment. And the, and the money is, I mean, the problem is, is now you're fighting the bank of the CT side. They're, they have so much money, so much going on um, for them that, even, you know, winning a couple rounds, it's, it's going to, it's going to help, but it's not going to help to the point where um, you, you need to start chaining, you need to chain the last six rounds, or five rounds here. They need, right. to, they need to bring this as close as they can, uh, make, you know, make the last couple rounds hurt. They need to, if they're going to push it, they got to push as a team, you know, have two there. One person watching left side of the mid, left side mid, right side mid, so that way when they both push out, there's a good crossfire going between them. So they can't just look at one person and take out the one person. They need to be able to or put when they're pushing B, get the smokes out, smoke off construction, smoke off cross, watch for the guy at, on plant box and make sure that no one is there. Hard part is, is I know probably a lot of the group normals that we play with, like Often and Dusky, <coughs> this is not a map they play a lot, so a lot of the group may not know this. Jeff Brony is going to get off right off the bat. Peaks down banana, gets one. Kalasada going to take coach and Ossifer. That's two down. And again, we're back to where we are, three on five, or two on five. Sepko's lurking A. He's trying to see maybe if he can get people that are rotating back. And he looks just at the wrong time. He looks in the wrong spot. Oh, there he is. He sees him. Guess Sepko's going to get a kill there on Riggers. So they know there's going to be at least one lurking around A. And oh my god, and Dosky not paying attention either. His teammate just died there and then falls into the same trap. So in, in just a matter of moments, it turns into a three on two. Sepko doing everything he can to pull this back. And he's going to go ahead and smoke off mid again. Uh, make it look like it's happened, you know, going that way. But it's still a uh, three on two. There's a man close here, right at mid. Calisada's watching. That Molly almost hurt him because they were so uh, they were able to get bomb at least though. Ooh. Oh, Nanners is gonna get ninja there. Wow, what a shot! So now, oh, Jesperoni. What does Jesperoni do? He's gonna rotate here to mid. He's gonna watch this to see if it's happening. There's only 17 seconds. They gotta make the move. Kalasad is gonna get Nanners there. Oh, Jesperoni, and this is the shot that's gonna give him. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> That was so close. Sepka was doing some real work right there, but unfortunately just could not pull the W. Uh, almost had that good 180 kill. Oh, man, that would have been such an amazing round on Sepka's part. I, and pretty much was, but fortunately they just could not pull off uh, a 1v1 against Kalasada. Kalasada is just a perfect lurk, perfect moving time, too. All right. Here comes the run boost coming from Riggers, and there's nothing there, unfortunately. Oh, gets a tag on a Jesperoni. Rigger's going to go ahead and move over to Apps. I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do from that position. Looks like he's going to go ahead and fall back. Looks like a lot more aggressive fight coming towards the A side from the T side. And I think that's what they've been needing as of right now. But as of right, once again, they're going to go ahead and just get stalled as of right now. They just need to commit to their plan, it sounds like. And if they can do that, they'll probably get a lot more success in terms of winning these rounds but as of right now i mean as he oh my goodness riggers just freaking blast and anders anders can pull off that kill oh my gosh and your reaction time is terrible he still gets the kill but my goodness <laughs> just not enough I, I feel bad for potato ninja as of right now he's been sitting on b site for most of the game and just there's not a lot of action that goes his direction right now I have a feeling that one, one of these times, the T side is just going to get that little hint that there's only one person on B in one of these rounds, and they're just going to go ahead and overwhelm Potato.
Either that or Potato's just going to go ahead and, you know, wipe the floor with them. But, oh, there goes the rotate. Calzada's on his way over to B. And, oh, no, Optimus. I think that was just enough noise to let the CTs know that there's definitely one person lingering B. Go see what Op can do. We're going to put the camera on him. Doesn't see... Uh, not enough time, not enough time! Oh, and he's going to have to try to save the bomb, and unfortunately does not happen. And Dotsy's team is going to go ahead and bring this up 10-2 to 2 as of right now. It's a slaughter. We were hoping that we were going to see this again. The last two matchmaking Mondays have been pretty much just slaughter fest for one team. But... I will say, if you don't know this map, though, this map is a very heavily CT side. It is very easy to get choke points and basically play pretty aggressive, but we'll see how this goes. They're going to push standard 3A, 2B. They're going to molly off B. They're pushing Banana. They're going to get Opt is going to get Potato, but he's going to basically die to the fire because of that. But they keep it a 4 on 4. They make noise. Jesperoni gets hit hard, but Jesperoni is going to get Anners, and Andoski is going to get Ossifer. She brings it to a four on two, but Jesperoni is basically just dead. It's basically a three on two at this point. Someone could just basically blow on Jesperoni and he still die. Uh, there goes Riggers. Riggers is dead. Oh my god, Kalasada gets up to go and Jesperoni's down. So we're down into a two on one. And Bomb is down. Coach is going to try and get it. Is he going to see the guy waiting for him here? No. Oh! And Andoski is going to take him down. Whiffs the first, like, seven shots, but finally gets him. Yeah, that's what they do. They, you know, you know, if you if you take a look at the scoreboard, there hasn't been a single plant in forever. And, man, that's that's just honestly killing no, the T-side right now. It's 11 to they, they, they stonewall the opening, and then they go and just hold off for the last part. Yeah, I'm kind of just, I'm, I'm kind of just wishing I can think for for a strat for T side as of right now, but as of right now, man, it's it's just not looking really good. Oh my goodness, I thought Sepko would have saw his foot right there, but Riggers goes and sees him just a split second for. Oh, sees the gun barrel, and Osper gets a headshot, headshotted. Sorry, <laughs> just gets completely blasted. My goodness, the aim as of right now is just ridiculous on ct side as well they're just they have great spray control all around they know where bomb is it sounds like as well and Dotsky, it looks like he was able to go and get some of that information really quiet on the t side as of this moment and sweet potato ninja finally gets a kill on the b side but it looks like ct is going to go ahead and rotate let's see what coach can do coach is all by himself towards a right this moment i think he's be smart he'll just rush it oh, oh, oh no don't don't oh man i'm i'm like just hoping for t-side to get another round honestly more than anything oh man that's gonna go ahead and give jesper the hint he knows that he's mid yep he hears him right now and here comes the kill does go from the no scope oh coach actually gets him let's see if uh coach can at least get a plant down he's gonna plant for super default What's it? No! Oh no! Oh no! He let go just a little too early! Oh my gosh, that's gotta be a heartbreaking round for T-Side. Oh. Let's go with the E button just a little bit too early. I don't know why he went chasing at the guy he saw in there. Just, you see him, you know where he's at, stay quiet, go to, go to A, try and fake out. You can get through over to apartments and just come out apartments and Jesperoni doesn't know you're there just shoot him from underneath you know to make sure no one's there and and just opportunities lost and already Osford down already to 37 opt is down from Calasada headshot and it's a quick round Jesperoni goes down I didn't see where Jesperoni died from <laughs> is coach gonna know he said he does but he sprays and walks and he can't get the shot and Dasky takes down Ossifer there's still another one here. Sepko's gonna get that one. And he's got an AK. What can Sepko do? It's it's a three on two. This is a manageable sinister situation. What can they do? The, all three CTs are here, so it's whether they push this or not. And what is Swift Potato doing? He is lurking around and Manners didn't even see him. Oh. He walked right through mid and never even saw him. Yeah, it's getting so much intel right now, too. 
and Swift, he's gonna walk up right behind him and take out Setco because he has no clue he's gonna be here. Oh, my oh. God, keep just walking right. They just keep turning away from each other. What is going on? I have no idea. So Setco is mid. He is looking over by alleyway, by apartments, and he doesn't see anyone. But but Swift is sitting there right at the top of the stairs, does not realize anyone's walked by, but then he's, he's going to hear Nanner's walk right there. So they're going to know it's going to be a site. So it's whether they can retake this. But Nanner's is watching this way. He doesn't think about the guy there. He, his teammate dies. He's got to hold off the two remaining people. Can he hold this? He's looking at the other direction. And they're going to play this over. He's gonna go for the fuse. Oh! And that's gonna be the half. Oh, man. I mean, that, that was just. Kalasada ends at 21 kills for the half. My god. 21, 5, and 5. Just. Just on point. Just. Destroying people. And it's, I don't think it's to say that anyone is necessarily playing bad. It's just. The T's just could not get teamwork going there at the end. Well, for most of that half, actually. They won the first two and then lost the rest of the map of the round. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're going to be able to go do T side. It looks like they're going to go ahead and stack B. Oh, there we go, Sepko. Sepko just completely dominating with that USP. Oh, he's not there with his team. And Dotsky smashes him in the face, but Coach gets caught with, this, uh, with, this, with a grenade out or something. Woo, Nanners with that freaking nice... Tap on the head right there. They're gonna go ahead and oh, they might be able to get a plant. I'm not 100 percent sure. Potato oh wow, it's right a one v one Ossifer versus Andotsky. Let's see if they can get around on the board. He has five percent health. You just need to put this down, and there we go. A little bit of life for Team Coach. Whoever went coughing is skipping. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit of ling, a little bit of uh, ping spikes as right now. And there's top in uh, three digits as right now, uh, right at this moment. He's NA. Well, it was Potato, and Potato was on site. He was already at like freaking 150 at that point. Like, and I could see it just watching him. He was just jumping around everywhere. So the T CT gets what they need. They get the first round win. They need to hold on to this. They they have very little room for for failure here. And it looks like this is going to be a heavy A push. They, they're all over it. They know they're here. And they, they flash them off. And they're trying to play very defensive, very tight. There's about two or three defenders. Jess Peroni is going to get set there. And Opt it pushes and gets taken out by Jess Peroni. And just like that, it's down to a three on two. But Potato's going to get taken down two on two. And what is going on here? Osfer has very low health. He's only got about 17 health. Manners has a full HP still. What? How is this gonna work? There, everyone's on a. Oh my God! They're not looking. It looks the wrong way. Oh, and Oscar, he looks like he's rotating. Is he gonna chase him or is he gonna try and cut him off? Oh, Nanners. Oh. Oh. Oh, did uh, did Riggers just trick him out of his fucking boots? He did. Oh my God, that was beautiful. Nanners looked down and did not see anyone there, and. Basically walked towards B while Riggers went towards basically around back towards T spawn and made it look like he was going B. But Nanners may have sniffed it out. He might see it just in time. He's going on to site right now. If he peeks, he'll see him. Which way does he think? Oh, oh. he's gonna go B first. Oh Nanners. Oh, oh no. Nanners. Oh Nanners. man. Yeah, he's just going to have to stay. No. <laughs> he knows it, too. He's running back, but he eh, the smart decision would be to say it, but he's going to have to just go for this. He's got I mean, if they go down the 14 here, will he get the... He's looking right at it. He saw him. He didn't get the kill. He needs to just move. Oh, he gets the kill. Does he have the time? Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't have a kid as well. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's hard. That's hard. Drenching. Ah. Uh. Oh, man.
They're gonna buy up what they can. Nanners has got that P90 he saved from the last round. Sepko off the dig. Sep Osmer's gonna scout and he's gonna get hit pretty heavily. Coach has just got a uh, USP, but Osmer's gonna go down, gets taken down by Jess Baroni. Jess Baroni's hit pretty hard, but. And Jess Barone and Nanners is gonna get hit pretty hard there. He's gonna back off. They're pushing me pretty heavily. Kalasan is gonna get off. There's still one more here with Sepko. And they're rotating over. Can he get another kill? Oh, he almost gets Endoski. Tags him down. But too low, too late. It is now a four on one. Coach is coming from B. He sees, doesn't see Riggers fast enough, and Riggers with the headshot. And that's going to bring us to match point, folks. It is 15 3. This has got to be very heartbreaking for Opt, too. Opt has uh, been ranking up, grinding really hard, and he's running 4 and 17 right now. Definitely got to be heartbreaking for him. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a rough, you know, end of match. But, you know, the hard part is, is, as I said, early it just seemed like their communication just was not there on the T side. Right. And that's unfortunately what a lot of T side needs. I'm dropping 30 frames per second right now. That's kind of odd. I can uh, resolve that. So Swift's gonna get one. Sepko and Nanners are gonna trade it out though. Jess Peroni and uh, uh, Jess Peroni and Swift are both gonna go down. Riggers gets Ozifer. Kalasada gets Sepko. It's now back down to a three on two. T side is at the advantage. Op gets Kalasada though. Now it's a two on two. Uh, do they see where it's coming from? And corner and Nanners is gonna get. Rager, so that's gonna leave it just on Endotsky, and he is Woo! super low on health, and Opt is gonna clean it up, so they do get another round in, so what can they get here? Definitely feel a good moment for Opt, getting a double kill over there <coughs> for this round. My goodness. Hopefully they get, uh, hopefully they get five on the board. That'd be nice uh, to see. Rogers looks like he's going to be leading the way. Looks like they're going to go ahead and try to get control of Banana. Here come the flashes and the grenades, but they're going to go ahead and pause and wait. They're just bunched up right in the middle right now. Oh my goodness, Sefko gets a headshot on Andots. Gets a double! Is there going to be a third? Just going to go ahead and pop the smoke. Smart decision on his end. Oh my god, Ossifer just blasts him with the swag. Seven, Kalsada with a headshot on Ossifer. Dominating that potential push. But goodness, Optimus just rolls up and comes right behind Ninja. Kalsada's going to go ahead and fake the plant. They don't fall for it. It's a 1v3, and these guys need to just push together. They know the plant is on A. Not enough for Optimus. Not enough for Optimus at all. The AK-47 just chops him down. Oh, it's taken behind from Opt. Opt is going to go ahead and get the defuse, bringing this game up 15-5. T-Side still in the lead on match point. Oh my goodness, and there was, uh, there's balloons that just popped over there. Did you see that? I think that's Opt's, like... MVP celebration thing. I don't know. All right. It's happened twice now. <laughs> Is that like a consolation for, you know, if you're not doing <laughs> that well? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't realize they had things like that. I, so, I, oh. Two straight rounds to the T side or CT side. So that's going to hurt the, C, the T's. They don't have the money they normally would. You know, it, no, it, it just hit me. It's, it's CSGO's birthday. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Well, wow. T's already are going heavy. Ops down along with uh, Sepco. But Nanners and Coach are going to get two. But the bomb's going to go down. It's a 3 on 2 retake. Can Coach and Coach Nanners and Ozifer retake this? They, oh, Riggers is right here. He's waiting for anyone to peek at him. But he's going to look. Oh, and he just takes Ozifer's head clean off. Oh, he can't hit the shot. Swift gets it, but then Court Nanners is going to take it out. He needs to find the last person. Does he know where Potato is? He looks. He sees him. Does he get, he misses the first shot. He doesn't have time. He's got to get this kill now. He's going to knock down time. He gets the kill, but does he have a kit? He doesn't. 
Oh no! He doesn't have time! Oh my gosh! Ladies and gentlemen, if you have to learn anything from the last three line, last three round, rounds, buy a diffuser, don't be a loser. Man. That was definitely a rough one for team coach, unfortunately. The hard part is, is there's two rounds there at the very end on CT side that should have been wins, and because they didn't have kits, they were lo losses. You need to have at least one or two people with the kit on the team, whether they're a little lackluster on the utility map side of it, you need to have at least a few people with those diffuse kits, because otherwise it's, you're going to have a rough day. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, they just did not pull off any other wins. Uh, and it looks like they just got stalled, uh, you know, primarily, you know, in mid uh, while the while team coach was on the CT side. They just kept getting stalled there and seemed pretty indecisive, unfortunately. Um, Sefco obviously getting fries uh, as his uh, supreme self does, but man, they just they were kicking it right now. But, ladies and germs, for those who are watching, um, the straw poll has been posted in chat as well as in Discord. Make sure you guys go ahead and get your votes in. We'll go ahead and reveal the winner at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, so about seven minutes. Um, as of right now, we're going to go ahead and pull in the uh, team captain for Coach Optimus, or Team Optimus. We're going to go ahead and pull him in and uh, get him to learn to be and see what uh, he has to say. Hey, Optimus, what's going on, man? Not uh, much. So, how was your other than you know other than the loss? How how was your first uh, match making Monday show match? <laughs> well, I had fun. Uh, I'm not a great, good, decent, passable, or even all right CS:GO player, but I still had fun playing the game. Good to hear. Trying to coach the team to a victory. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that's uh, that's what we try to strive here. You know, this is our these are friendly uh, CS:GO matches. You know, they're exhibition show matches. You know, just for the viewers of the stream. So. Once again, guys, we do thank you for supporting my stream and, you know, having fun with everybody. So great sportsmanship all around. Um, what do you guys think you guys were stalling in terms of uh, your guys' T side uh, when you were uh, playing on them? Uh, it seemed like uh, a primary issue for my team. It seemed a lot of our guys were seeing the opposing team teleporting. <laughs> um, so we had a lot of high ping, a lot of high ping complaints. I had great ping, but it's probably not great that the worst player on the team had the best ping on the team. Uh, I have to give a shout out to the team for trying to teach me the game a little bit as we were playing. They kept saying purple, and for the first seven rounds, I had no idea what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, it is color code in terms of uh, in terms of uh, your team. Yeah, I usually try to shoot for blue personally, personally but sometimes I got to deal with the color. <laughs> I just say uh, Calzada had some good some good uh, multi kill rounds on us, so we kept trying to force B, and I don't think we ever unified in that push after the first couple of rounds and we sort of stalled out there right gotcha yeah i mean a lot of rounds you guys didn't know that but uh you know Calisato is also very mobile he's rotating back and forth between b and a and pretty much left just swift potato ninja literally for like probably 90 percent of the round swift potato actually ended up being by himself on a b side but unfortunately you guys weren't able to attain that intel um and yeah, take advantage of that opt called that a couple of times and Maybe if we had a strong leader instead of a new coach, we would have been able to follow up on that. Gotcha. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We 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 go by the team coaches just for just for picking purposes. Yeah. Kind of semi keeps it random unless you know obviously you know the players. But in general, um, the reason why we also try to split everyone else up and figure out the roles is that you know that gives you the opportunity to also select an IGL as well, especially if you don't feel like comfortable with tasks. But the team captains is generally primarily meant for just you know splitting the teams up. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm glad uh, you had fun, and uh, definitely uh, hope to see you uh, join in on uh, Matchmaking Monday again. You know, better uh, better play some CS a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> all right, but uh, yeah. Not at all. Uh, not at all. That's <laughs> true. Uh, but yeah, thanks for uh, interviewing with us, and I'm gonna shoot you back down the lobby, man. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime. Cool. Yeah, take care. Later. All right, I'll have you take care of Potato for the interview, and we're gonna oh, go no. ahead. Here, this is your channel. You gotta do all the. Ah oh, man. I can't do. Fucking MAMs. All right. Yo, Potato, what's going on, man? How you doing? Oh, hello. So, um, how do you think your team did, sir? Um, if I think about it, I think my team did very well. Like, I obviously lacked a lot in most situations, and I was lagging quite a bit, but I think my team carried me pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Um... See, I don't even think that the team carried you. I think, you know, just where you guys played, the way you guys had set up. 
early on they kind of pushed B, but then it just seemed like after that they kind of gave up on B and pushed, you know, pretty heavily mid and A side. So I just think it's just where the position you played. I don't just think you just never saw that much action. Because there were some times you hit some pretty good shots. You, you There were times you were lagging, but you there were Are times you, you had key frags. Am I muted? No. Okay. Oh. No, Gaz is, Gaz is talking loud and clear. <laughs> okay. But yeah, um... Yeah, give me a second. The second interviewer is obviously biased, Kev. <laughs> 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 CSGO birthday update that came out, yeah, VO. I did, I did notice I kind of, that kind of clicked to me once we once the megabyte update came out. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, CSGO's freaking fifth birthday. Yeah, uh, and I didn't realize it because I saw it after you had said it too. I saw it in chat. It was like, oh, birthday thing. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick peek at these results. Oh, looks like Sa Calisada's uh, got seven votes in for him. So go with two and Jess Brennan with two as well. Yeah, Jess Brennan is getting some crazy. Uh, Crazy kills in terms of uh, what, when he was opting, primary opting for uh, Team uh, Potatoes as of right now. <laughs> cool. All right, Potato. Um, well, glad to have you play again, man. I uh, hope to see you next week, uh, but I'm going to drag you down since it sounds like you're having some audio issues. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yo, Jesper, this is your first matchmaking Monday, isn't it? Yes, sir. Oh, man, how did you like it? Other than the server lag. It was fun. The lag didn't affect me at all for whatever reason. Yeah, we have every once in a while we do get a couple people that have a little bit of lag issues in terms of the challenge and GG servers, but uh, feedback's always given to them. I'm, I'm hopefully hopefully they're taking advantage of that. You know, just making sure they're maintaining on the maintenance on there. But uh, but yeah, um, how do you feel? Uh, what what's something you think uh, the other team could have improved on in terms of uh, you know complete utter domination? Unfortunately, that they've uh, mm. well, I think, experienced. Um... <laughs> Well, as Neo put it, they tried. <laughs> but, uh, but I, I mean, I, I think I think if everyone was on had uh, similar ping, I think it would have been a lot closer. We we just had uh, better connections for whatever reason. I think that gave us a lot more of an advantage. Uh, but, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely visible in terms of you know the positioning. Uh, looks, there was never an angle that really wasn't being covered. Yeah, especially with Kalisada also, you know, just making the the right call at the, the perfect time to just go ahead and rotate over back to A side, uh, and you know, trust Potato to hold down B. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, he was anchoring wonderfully at B. You know, it doesn't really show on the scoreboard at all, but uh, just every time they went, apart from like the pistol, Potato just crushed them. Every time he put turned them into mashed potatoes. <laughs> mashed potatoes. Definitely have to keep that one and uh, keep that uh, nickname in mind <laughs> next time uh, we get a potato playing. It's going to be all like, and here comes mashed potatoes or something like that. <laughs> and he just turned them into mashed potatoes. <laughs> But yeah, um, definitely uh, saw some awesome uh, double kills in terms of the op uh, play from you. It looks like you're primary doing that primarily on the uh, TT side, uh, mm -hmm. shutting down uh, any type of rush coming in from T side. Yeah, and I like it too because you guys changed it up too. At points, there was you know, there's a couple rounds where normally it was two on B, and there were a couple rounds you rushed towards Banana to get that quick pick and then would just rotate back to try and throw them off, you know, make it think like you were you were stacking B and then they hit A and you guys have three sitting over there still. So your, your off was on point today. It was really good. Some of those shots you had, I was just like, holy Jesus. Thank, thank you, guys. I didn't get to hear the commentary yet, but I'm sure it's equally as good, if not better. Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> I can guarantee that. Yeah, Gaz, uh, Gaz definitely uh, pulls through with that. Um, but yeah, uh, Jesper, I want to thank you for playing, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and drag you back down. But we are going to be playing one more match, everybody, just FYI. After we go ahead and announce the MVP, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, queue up one more lobby. That way me and Gaz can play, because that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, thanks, Jesper. Thank you. <laughs> all right, ladies and germs, um, we're going to go ahead and pull up the results for the shop hole. And it looks like... I'm going to guess Kalisada. I think Kalisada pulled in the, the win for that one. Uh, 
Calzada is running in seven votes. Sepco in with two. Jess Bray with two. Opt got one. I'm assuming he voted for himself. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Coach uh, and Nanners. But I, I'm in, in, in all honesty, I feel like Andotsky and Osper definitely should get some recognition in terms of uh, Dotsky was holding down uh, balcony for sure. He was on a site. Mm -hmm. um, but in general, uh, yep, we're going to go ahead and congratulations, Calzada. You are the MVP for the matchmaking Monday. This week, everybody uh, shoot some uh, hype <laughs> over to Kalasada. I know Sepko. I know you want to. I know you want to go ahead and interview so bad, but sorry, buddy. We'll put <laughs> we'll put you in next week or something. <laughs> you interview literally every single time you're in. But yeah, everybody, uh, give some uh, congratulations to uh, Kalasada in the chat. Uh, definitely won that one. Get some arrow hype in the chat. But uh, we're going to go ahead and queue up another game. Let's get one more game before we end the stream for the evening. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a lobby for us. And if we can get enough for 5v5, we'll go ahead and uh, get going. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shoot the uh, invite link.